and welcome back. I'm Deirdre and this is episode 12 of my downsizing story. I've decluttered, I've packed up, I've moved to an apartment and now it's all about making the apartment just right for me. Last week, uh, well actually this week really, Wednesday, I repainted that wall which was very dark and I've repainted it in a much lighter, well it's actually just white at the moment, I'm not sure if it's going to stay this white, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But it's lovely, it's so uh, reflective of light, it feels a lot more airy and uh, just a bit more cheerful, I think. I'm, I don't react well to brown, um, it's, I mean, it's just a colour, I know, it's really nice on horses and in good leather, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, it's not a colour that I wear, it's not something um, I would put my hand up to choose ever, it's brown, because it just doesn't suit me. So I suppose that might have been part of the reason why I wasn't that keen on it. Now it's all about getting that, um, the sideboard that's over there to look right in the space. And I had thought about painting it white, but I've decided to paint it the soft grey to give it a nice contrast against that wall. I've chosen a very soft grey and it's quite similar to the chairs that I have in here. So that's going to work quite well. And that's what I'm going to start doing today. I don't know if I'll get it finished. I will have to sand the top and um, I have actually already cleaned up all the fronts and sides. I won't do the inside today. I might do that tonight, but we'll see how it goes. So here's the sideboard and you saw it last week before I cleaned it off the top. Now I've just got to take the ponies off and those lamps and uh, move the chairs out of the way. Um, and I may just leave the things inside it for the meantime. Oh, probably not, I'll probably take everything off. I want to take the hardware off. I may replace it, I may not. It may look okay with the grey. Anyway, so that's going to be grey. What I'm not sure about is the top, which is, it does need to be sanded. It's had a very poor coat of white put on it. Um, but, I will see. We'll see how I go. I'll definitely have to sand it. It's in a bit of a state. So that first and then I will start painting and show you what it's like. Well, I'm going to start with the top. I've actually just started undercoating that side a little earlier, but um, I'm going to start sanding the top now. We've had the conversation about sanding paper before, but in case you missed it, um, I, use a sand, I use a sanding block, um, a cork sanding block, and this is um, P240, which means that there are 240 little bits of grit, so it's relatively coarse. Um, and I will start with that. And it's going to be, you can see that there's sort of an, you can see the bubble on it. That's what I've got to get rid of. So um, it's going to take a bit of effort on this one. I'll see how it goes. I really don't want to get out my, um, my noisy sander because it's such a gorgeous afternoon. And yeah, I'm just quite enjoying myself really. I'll get started and um, show you how it goes. And there it is. I've given it its first sand. As usual, it's all about what it feels like. And yes, hang on, I've just found another patch here. Mm. But mostly, it's okay. What I'm considering is once I've painted the body of it in the light grey, I may want to have the top in white, or I might have the top in black. I'm thinking about it. Or I might have the top in grey. Not sure. Haven't quite got there yet. I'll have to see how the body of the sideboard looks in white and I'll take it from there. Now there's the first coat of undercoat onto the top and as I did with the table over here, I brushed it on, brushed the paint on and rolled off with a dry roller just to make sure I've got it really, um, really even. I mean it's going to be sanded in between as with the table. I'm not going for a super fabulous finish. It doesn't have a super fabulous finish but I did want to get it nice and even and consistent. And now I'm going to start on that front. I did um, the side here the other day when I was doing the wall um, and that's because I had some time and I did. So now I've just got to do the front and then I've got to do the insides and everything like that obviously, but I just want to see what it's going to look like. So first I'll take off the hardware and I'll get started. Here we are, both sides done, all the undercoating is done. It always amazes me, it can look so bad now, and yet it's only a couple of coats away from looking really good. Oh, my shoulder is in need of a break, so I'm glad I've finished, for now anyway. 
Well, it's the next morning. Ran out of light last night. I just, um, it's very difficult to paint at night to get a good finish. So today I'll sand the top lightly first and then I'll go back in and put another coat on the inside and on the shelf so that that's ready to go. And then I'll start on the putting on the grey. So I'm halfway through, that's, um, well, more than halfway through, that's the first top coat. And I'll do a second one when I come back from having lunch with a friend. And um, yeah, and then I'll put it all together for you and tidy it up and hopefully be able to show you how it looks when it's finished. Not the greatest light, but it's still pretty obvious, the difference between the way it was and the way it is now. So it's finished, um, finally. It takes a while because you obviously have to wait a while between coats. This coat is not 100% yet, which is why I haven't got the lamps back on it. But I put the ponies there just so you can get a bit of contrast and see what it will be like. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think the colour is enough of a difference to just sort of anchor it without making it a dramatic contrast. It isn't 100%. I will no doubt give it a slight sand and probably another coat on the top at least. And I'll do some tidying up where there's some little runs and things like that because I like a really professional finish. But it's very close and uh, I'm really happy with it. And the ponies seem quite happy as well. And they'll get their black frame and I bought a hammer drill the other day so I will be able to start hanging up my art which is good and I'll show you how to use a hammer drill as well. Well that is the sideboard done. It took um, it took two coats of undercoat and then two coats of top coat. It still needs another one but I'll let it dry for at least a week before I dust off. I'm still tempted to put um, a a black top on it, not a shiny black, but just the same satin black. I don't know, not sure. I will put the frame on the ponies first and then I'll see what I think because I'll put a black frame around the ponies and I'll just play it a wee bit. You know, I don't want to go and paint it black and then think, oh no, I actually really liked it grey. It's too much hard work painting it back. So at the moment I've settled with it just all one colour and there, I can now swap some things into it that are in another storage area and they will be that sort of real kitchen stuff. So I'm happy with it. I think it's clean, it's fresh, it works well in that corner, it gives a little bit of contrast to ground that wall and it wasn't too much of a pain to do. All right, I take that back. It's <laughs> My shoulder hasn't got used to lots of painting yet. So um, yeah, it actually, it takes a bit. But um, yeah, I still enjoy it. It's fun. It's, uh, it's easy enough to do and you get a beautiful feeling of transformation out of it as well. Um, I'll be back with more things. I don't know what's next on the list. Maybe making the frame for the ponies? Maybe. Not sure. Anyway, there's always more. And so if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. And there is the decluttering playlist here. Uh, there'll be more of that. I hope that whatever you're doing today, that you're having a lovely day, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.